Okay, so uh, we're making uh, pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. All right, these are our ingredients. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have everything together before you even start anything so you don't go crazy later on. So these are basically the ingredients we're using. We're using some eggs, we're using evaporated milk, some pumpkin pie mix that was already in the can, some regular granulated sugar, ginger, and some cloves, and a pie crust. And that's it. All right, All right. what are we doing? Okay, uh, first thing, we're gonna, we already preheated the oven. The oven's preheated. Now we're just go, we're gonna grab some, huh? No, I, I didn't do anything, so I'm just glad you really... I'm glad you did all okay. this, because I did nothing cooking related. Okay, so, all right, so, so we're gonna continue. Then we're gonna combine the sugar, grab the sugar. First of all, you're gonna need three quarter cups of sugar. So you're gonna need a, a, a measuring cup. You think I'd know where the measuring cups uh, are? It's right there. All right, how okay, much? so we're gonna find a quarter of a cup. That's a quarter of a cup. You need three of those of sugar. Get out that sugar bowl. This is sugar. Yep. Fantastic. Three of them. Where? Put them in there. Sick. <laughs> you gotta get precise. Yeah. So this is a quarter? That's a quarter. So this is three quarters in here. Three quarters. If you were to put four quarters, it'd make a lot. A whole. Ooh, baby. Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah. Catholic school paid off. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Look, you can put it in these little containers here. Teaspoon, you said, right? A teaspoon. Not a tib spoon. No, not a tib spoon. A tibless spoon. You don't want a tibless spoon either. Shit is spicy. <laughs> now put put it in a separate container. Put it in that separate container, so you'll keep track of what you're doing. Okay. The next one is a half a teaspoon. Find a half a teaspoon on there of salt. All right. This here is kosher salt. You could use table salt. I just happen to have that one. All right. And you want to put that in a separate container also, and that, make that level. Put it in there. That's good. That's good. You're good right there. I'm amazing. You're amazing. You are. First try, Bobby. That's what you're, called me. you're a son of a chef. That's what you are. And here we're going to use a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. A half teaspoon. Ginger. Ground ginger. It's ground. It's ground. You seen it fresh? Right. Oh, well, so no, I... well. Come on. You're kidding me, right? Open up the container. Oh, I was and about to just freeze. Obviously, this. you don't work in the kitchen too much, right? Yeah, yeah, this is probably one of the least rooms. The no, don't pour it into there. Put the spoon inside of it. Hello. Okay. You ever eaten ginger, like the root? Yeah, yeah, I have eaten it. It's really good for your digestive system. Does it taste it like is. ginger ale? No. That's okay. a shame. Is that enough ginger? Yeah, can I show you something? Sure. You know, really quick. Let me just show you something in the future. In order to make this easier for you, just grab a, something with a flat end, put the spoon inside of there, and just grab the flat end, and simply go like that, and you'll have a level of teaspoon there. Okay, here you go. That's pretty damn nice smooth. With less of the mess. All right, continue. Put that on the side. You look at John Wick of cooking. <laughs> okay, and now a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. That is me. <laughs> <laughs> just watch, one, just watch, one, one is good. <laughs> watch this. How much is this? Uh, a quarter. A quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Do it the same way. Watch this. So you're not ready for this, Dylan? Show him that action. Show him that action, son. Get my flat edge. Thank you. <laughs> balance, balance. Shit, oh, I spilled it everywhere, shit, but you know. man. Get it in there, brother. Oh, yeah. Now, those are all our dry ingredients. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead. Okay, let's get all the all of this unnecessary stuff out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take that glass bowl and we're going to grab two eggs. And you're going to grab two eggs, drop them in there, and beat them lightly. Dos huevos. Two egos. Okay, look, a couple of different ways to break an egg. You can tap it there on the side. Minus. Try that. Minus the shells. Ow, that actually cut me. Ow. Oh, I don't. Sharp ass eggshell. Sick bait commando. Okay, look, 
for another quick quick trick here. Next time you have you the do, egg, go ahead. do they do hit, little? Next time you grab the egg, hit the egg on the side of the table first. Okay. Can't do that. Don't hit it so hard. Can't do that one-handed crack thing. Like that. Woo! <laughs> when do I learn how to do that? Uh, for the episode on omelets. We'll do an episode on omelets, and you have plenty of practice. I gotta be on that episode. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna combine all these dry ingredients into the sugar. So grab the, grab everything in there and we mix it into the sugar. All of this. Yeah, all the dry ingredients. Put them into that sugar container. Uh, this was the one. What is that? I just, uh, you just ground cloves. Ground cloves. Excellent, excellent. Look at that. Get it in there. Now we're gonna grab this ginga. That's what they call it. Ginger. How you say that in Spanish? Gingero. Gingibre. Never mind. Get it in there. You, why are you pouring so to, to It's the dash? fucking pretty. I don't know. It's nice. You know, I'm doing like a little target thing, you know? Ooh, oh, look, you're special. I am. Now take that mix there. You want to combine that thoroughly in there? Get a well mix. Get it in there deep. Look on the sides. Look on the side of the container. Oh, shit. Look at that. Here I am thinking I'm doing amazing. <laughs> on the outside, it looks like one of those sand sculptures that you make with different colors. Sandbags. <laughs> Next up, we want to take, and we're gonna beat those eggs lightly. All right, grab the other whisk. <laughs> Go three rounds with the eggs. And I'm just I'm whisking it. You're gonna whisk them, yeah. Hold on, you taught me something like this, right? Yeah. I, I, you want to turn it. All right, you're right-handed. It's better if you go invert your hand. You're going clockwise. That's what you want to do. You want to invert this and pick up some air with it. <laughs> it's in the wrist, wrist, wrist action. Put, keep that in there. <laughs> you look like a bird. You look like a dinosaur. <laughs> look, look. All with the wrist. In oh, here, look. <laughs> in here. You're in here. Move this around. Look, you, you don't have to don't do this. Right? All right. It looks real freaky, bro. Don't do that, bro. Come on, Bob. The wrist. The frisbee skills. But that's not whisking. You just moving that. That's swishing. You're saying wrist. My wrist is moving. Look. Look at this. All right, so let me, let me. <laughs> there you go, get into it, get into the meat of it. Lift the egg up, lift up the egg. Up, up. Lift it up, lift up the egg, lift, lift, lift. There. Yeah. Ah, la, la, da, 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 da. It sounds like, right. it sounds like Bob's giving birth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna put the rest of our wet ingredients in there. You can just set that here. Grab that red spatula. This is a pumpkin pie mix, it's already mixed, comes in this can. All right, uh, this is, I think, 15 ounces. That's what the recipe calls for. Put that inside of there. I've never actually had pumpkin Put, put it low so it don't jump up on you. I've never even had a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what everybody drinks nowadays. Look, you can get one right here. I'll make one for you in a second. All right, it's me or... It's only 11 bucks when you buy it at my house. All right, that's good enough. You're it's gonna not. We're going to get You're going to take the plastic off house. of that shit, man. Come on. All right, all right. Man. Jeez. All right. And now this is condensed milk. All right? And that's what this is. All right. What is condensed milk? It's milk that's condensed. Okay? It doesn't fucking help, man. Okay. It's, it's leche evaporada. Like evaporated milk? Evaporated milk. So how right. is this different from other milk? I'm not going to answer that question now. You got me good on that one. I should have studied that one before this episode. But pour that shit in there anyway. Go ahead, don't be afraid. <gasps> now you want to take that and you want to combine all those ingredients in there. What should I okay. use? Use for, to begin with, use this and fold it in. This is called a technique called folding. You don't want to start whipping all that in. And then once you got that well combined, put the whisk in it. Give it a couple of quick whisks. I'm not gonna lie, I know we're making like a pie, but this shit looks disgusting. Hold <laughs> on, wait, let me get my. I'm gonna hear these, these wet slaps. You ready? <laughs> now, put the whisk inside of it. Same thing, wrist? Yeah. You don't have to lift that, it's gonna be heavy, so. Okay, about the best thing I've done all day. Look there you that. go, it's combining well. Oh, look, it's taking a color. Everything's combining and everything's all combined. Now, remember, you have to let this cook. We're going to start cooking this off. Uh, it's going to have two different temperatures. We're going to start this at 425 degrees, only for about 10 to 15 minutes. 
Then, after that time, we're gonna lower the temperature to 350 degrees and cook it for another 40 to 50 minutes or until it's done. Good job, Bob. Okay, and now that's your already pre-baked deep dish pie pan. Uh, you get these in the supermarket, they come two in a package. You can take the top portion off, no, no. It has two pans inside of it, okay? This one, if you're not gonna use it, wrap it again, wrap it up in some plastic, put it back inside of your freezer, use it for another pie at a, at a later date. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven. You don't wanna put this like this in the oven, only because this might bubble out and fall in the bottom of it, and then you're gonna wind up having to clean it, because I'm not. We'll use this pizza pan, all right? Place this on there, so if anything falls out, it'll fall on here, and you won't have anything to clean. So now, the, the last thing to do is just to pour this inside there, okay? Be careful. Okay, if you have, don't, if it, it's continuous, you wanna get up to that little ridge, that top line there. It should fit right to the top with that measurement. Let's see, look at that, boy. All right, let's With a it. little bit left over. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and put a little bit more on it. Put a oh. little bit more. Some put improv here. Yeah, I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going. There, stop there. That'll be good. Precision. Be careful. Open up your oven. Is it hot? Oh, yes, it is. Okay, hold on. I learned my lesson last time. It's so hot. It's hot gas. So remember, we're gonna. It's gonna be at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for the first 10 to 15 minutes. So open it up. Be careful. It's hot. Pull out that middle rack. <coughs> don't play, it's hot in there, brother. I fucking know it's hot. That's why I, I don't want to be here. I feel like an old lady. <laughs> you smell like an old lady. I'm just going to leave my pies to sit here. I'm going to fuck this up. I'm going to draw. No, no, no. I got this. Let me move it. Let me just bring it out for you a little bit. Look what oh, I'm doing. You the I'm pro. bringing you... it out for myself. Look at that, man. You got the Muppets on your hands. Fuck. You All better right. not drop that shit, boy. Look at that. Shush. Dylan, I bet you five bucks. Five bucks, drop that shit. Balance. I hate people so Balance. You're not making this any easier, I Balance. promise you. Balance. Why did you put the oven so far from the fucking Balance. counter? Because <laughs> you never learned how to walk. Bend your knees, bend your knees. You know, you get it. Oh, dude, get on your knees and your butt. Oh, I feel like I'm fucking stealing something from the loop. Push it back, back, back into the middle of it. No, no, easy, don't ruin it now. All right, good, good. Now easy there too, because that will ruin it for you. Oh, my fucking eyebrows are coming off. <laughs> Shut it, lick it, shit it, excellent. Did I just bake a pie? Did I just bake a pie? All right, so you, that's gonna bake for 15 minutes at that temperature. And it's now 825. All right, in 15 minutes, you're gonna lower the temperature to 350 degrees and you're gonna bake that for 40 to 50 minutes. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I'll see you in 10 minutes. Cool. You know what, we fucked up, right? What? You never put the fucking sugar in. <laughs> Sugar's sitting right there. Are <laughs> you fucking kidding me? Pull it out. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what just happened? Okay. We forgot something. <laughs> no wonder that shit looks so <laughs> No, 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 no. Hold on can a can we even fucking save this? Sure we can, bro. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be, this is all you, bro. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Maybe they won't know that we didn't put the sugar in. Don't say nothing. See the way it comes out. If not, we'll do it again. The sugar uh, the was there the whole time, too. Where's the whisk at? That would have been great, just eating a fucking bitter oh, ass no, pie. That would have been nice. <laughs> this pie is really nice. Pumpkin, sweet. yeah. Open up the other for me. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Give me the other one. That way it comes out. That way they don't <laughs> see all of this. They already saw that shit. Oh, man, chill, bro. This is going to be a beautiful pie. Let's see the speed difference on Let's how see. he gets this shit into the... Here, you don't want your, uh, 
he's going in raw. Sound a little wrong, but cooking. All I'm saying is I'm gonna time this shit. And I think I made it a couple seconds slower. Just a couple seconds. Now I need those pads. Right here. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go. 15 minutes. And we're good. Got the sugar in there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we just pulled the pie out of the uh, oven. It's all done uh, after uh, 40 to 50 minutes. So we're going to cut into it and check it out. But before we do that, a uh, quick reminder. Uh, before, uh, when we were mixing this up, we forgot to put the sugar in. So we had to pour the pumpkin mix out. Don't forget that. Combine it and re-pour re it into the shell. But it was able to be done. And also, to answer your question, uh, evaporated milk is homogenized, fresh homogenized milk, which hit, uh, the water, 60% of the water has been taken out and vitamin D has been added. And I know what half of those things are. And that's what it is. And uh, we're going to cut into it and check it out. Usually you want to let this wait uh, about an hour, hour and a half to let it cool down. Uh, so uh, let's check it out and take a taste. Wow, look at that. All right, so, uh, yeah, serve that with a little bit of whipped cream. Whoa. Maybe a dollop of whipped cream on that. Just a dollop. So, uh, who wants to taste it? Let's go. Let's grab a fork out of there. Let's check it out. Come on, Dill. Leave it there. The cat'll get it. The cat'll eat that. Literally oh, that's great. It. That's delicious. <laughs> you literally <laughs> dropped like a whole thing it's, on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So oh it tastes. Amazing, honestly. That's tastes actually like, really good. Tastes like Thanksgiving. Yeah, I've never had pumpkin anything, and it's not fucking bad. Thanks. <laughs> well, you did it. You made it. So, I did. Round of applause for the for you son of a chef. Good job, Bob. Good job, Dylan. I eat it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, Hi. <laughs>